Wow, friends, Rob here doing a response or review. A young girl by the name of Lara, 12 years old, in uh, Ireland commits suicide due to cyberbullying. And first of all, my condolences to her family, her friends, and people that mourn and grieve throughout the earth. And, you know, there's got to be tougher lures due to cyberbullying. And, you know, I know I know the argument, the grain as well. They can't prove that the person actually did that because they were bullied and picked on. But... Friends, something's got to stop here. And the reality, friends, is bullying's been around since the beginning of time. It'll never go away because the truth is hurt people hurt. And the reason why people hurt people is because people hurt them. So the cycle never stops. But you can, it's when you react to bullying dictates to whether you become better or bitter. And when you see yourself the way God sees you through the eye lens of God, that you're cared, that, that God values you, that you're accepted, that he loves you just the way you are. It'll get you off the hamster's wheel, the people-pleasing wheel, the striving wheel to become popular or accepted. Because the reality is, is God accepts you, he loves you, he created you in your mother's room. And the Bible says when you love your neighbor as you love yourself, when you love yourself the way you're supposed to, then you'll be able to love your neighbor the way you're supposed to. But most people don't love people it's because they don't love themselves. And what I mean when I talk about loving yourself, it's not that you're gawking in the mirror all day, you're so gorgeous, beautiful, private. It's that you have a, self, a self-respect, a healthy outlook on yourself, a healthy love. Because the one person that will never leave you, friends, is you. Wherever you go, you will be there. So you've got to learn how to live with yourself because you'll always be with yourself. So, hey, that dictates to whether you become bitter or better. When you see yourself the way God sees you, that he created you, that he loves you, that he's got a wonderful and a great plan for you. By the way, I'm a minister of the gospel. I've worked with thousands of young people in the United States and New York here in youth ministry over the last two decades. If you decide, you can subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Hit the subscribe button also on the Rob Wood one. <clears throat> I have many other ministry videos where I elaborate, talk about the Bible, Christianity, you know, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc., and my friends, God loves you. He's got a mighty plan for your life. In the book of John in the New Testament, third chapter, 16th verse, it simply states, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe and receive Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires no one to perish. He wants all to have the assurance and insurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven our home. And the only way we could have that is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to Christ. Recite a simple prayer. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that prayer, put in the comments section, I prayed the prayer. I want to pray for you. I'll never be able to do that individually, but I can do it here from the uh, United States where I reside. There's no distance in prayer. Friends, my condolences again. This young girl, 12 years old, commits suicide due to cyberbullying. What an absolute sin. What a shame. The Lord loves you. Be blessed, friends.